a little bit of snow here. Heading out. Supposed to be 11 degrees tonight. So my first time of trying to sleep out in sub-zero weather. And got a little bit of snow already on the tent. And um, I think we're down, last I saw was three degrees. That was a little earlier. So we're probably a little bit closer to zero now. What's the low supposed to be? It keeps changing last. You looked, what was um, the low supposed is supposed to be negative 11. Yeah. Without windshield. So. You're gear testing in the backyard. Testing, <laughs> yep. Gear testing in the yard because that way I can bail inside if it gets too cold. Winter, winter stuff I like. Winter Are you stuff. saying below winter. zero you'd rather gear test and make sure it works out than be, uh, you know, 10 miles, <laughs> 10 miles into the forest and <laughs> below anytime, zero and realize you're cold. Anytime for winter stuff, <laughs> I always gear test in the yard first. Yeah. So I know I'm comfortable out there when I go. I know a lot of the guys would say, oh, come on. Yeah. That's not that's not a a real test. You got to go out in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> but there's real dangers. <laughs> yeah, when it's, when you're talking 10 below or more, sometimes you're better to gear test at your house. <laughs> there are real dangers in the mountains and people do really yeah. die out there. So yeah. I don't want to be a statistic. <laughs> I'd rather be safe. So, yep. And you've camped in the winter but never below 0. Right. Yep. Camping, which I think you said camping with snow but not below zero right not even down to zero Grab that thing. so this will be a brand new experience and knew that she has but they've been uh, her and Jamie both have been gear testing and actually they've been they had the other tent set up which is a four-person tent that we use and that you've been sleeping out how many nights have you been out here you took a couple nights off, but you've been out off and on for off the last on for, week. I don't know, more than a week, I think. Okay, so. Yeah. So you've, you've had the chance to acclimate a little yeah. bit and test stuff, which up until while she's getting that stuff in, I'll say that she's been pretty much like toasty warm. So, all the other nights. I think the, what was the coldest it got down to so far the other nights? Like know, single digits? 20s. It was supposed to be 13 last night, but it only got down into the low 20s. So, um, it's snow. So I think probably low twenties or very upper teens is kind of probably the lowest I've done. We don't always have a, you know, we don't have a thermometer when we're out in the mountains, so we kind of go by what we can. Yeah, know, can look feel, at the weather. Feel wise. Yeah. Um, and checking it as far as looking back. Well, we can't look back in the mountains for the time. Oh, they okay, right. The, but for around, if you're if you're not way out there, you can look at the where the weather stations the are and the, see what what yeah, they were. That's what we do a lot of times. Here is at the airport. Yeah. On the east side. Um, this is a Nemo tent, by the way. While she's, I'll do a she'll do a review on that later. The Nemo is it Dagger or Dagger? Dagger. Dagger. Two person Os Osmo. I Osmo, Osmo, yeah, Osmo, something like that. And it's been a wonderful tent, summer and fall so far, spring. Um, I trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Um, I haven't used it in the winter time yet. Did use it in a lot of wind. Wind and rain, it's held up good, but um, that'll be in a different review. Yeah, different review. I will say my hands are starting to get cold. I don't have any gloves on. I know. I'm trying to find my booties and well let's stuff. shut this off and then you can get squared away turn this back on once you're yeah, in there because i'm out in the snow with no uh in the snow and the cold with no uh and the hand gloves gets on cold with the camera so. i wasn't planning to video very long so i didn't throw gloves on i probably should have yeah so. i will check back in in a little bit yeah kind of get settled give updates give a little this bit is going to be a multi-day uh more info. test possibly she'll give more details right. on what she's doing with the test right yeah. See when she bails out. Right. It's supposed to be negative 27, somewhere 26, 27 in one of these nights. She's going to be trying to stay out in that during the, each night. So. During the daytime. Kind of give a little review of my setup, what I'm using. But and this is not a winter tent. Um, but I haven't done enough camping in winter to justify buying a winter tent. So we'll see how it does. Okay. Over and out. <laughs> All right. So... Um, we're out in the tent now, 
and got our, all of our fooling around done to get snuggled in. Um, kind of felt like an inchworm trying to get into everything. And we are ready to turn out lights and go to sleep. But we are officially, I don't know, can you see that? We are officially at negative one right now. Um, we crossed over, it's past midnight. And so officially in, on January 12th, it's 12.13 at 12.01, it says negative one. So officially at negatives, doesn't feel too bad yet, but we've been doing a lot of wrestling around with our stuff because we had to switch tents. We had been using a different tent on the, before it was dropped cold because we had, one of my other daughters had been sleeping out with us some, but that was a four person tent. And for two of us, it was much too large for us to try to keep it warm <laughs> with our body heat. Right, Jamie? Yeah. So we took the four man tent down today, put up the two man tent and switched everything over. So, um, we had kind of some extra wrestling around to do with getting things squared away. So just thought I'd say we're negative, but we are, like I say, warmed up from our wrestling around with our stuff. So that was kind of like getting our exercise beforehand with winter camping, especially, you know, we just came out from the house. So with winter camping, when we're out in the cold, we usually will, um, as we're heading to bed away from the campfire when you've been warmed up by the campfire and then it, you put it out and it feels cold then we try to kind of get warmed up a bit before getting in the tent but so tomorrow I will kind of go over what I am using for my stuff and let you know how well it did and whether I bailed inside or not hopefully I will be toasty but we'll see um, so it's gonna be lights out and I guess that didn't go all the way out. So multi-light. And I don't even know where that's at. It's not my usual headlamp. Good night. Are you stuck? Snow then? I Not quite. I get a zipper with my mitten, so I'll just pull my mitten off. Oh, it's a little bit dark. Good morning. Hand me one of those lights. Huh? It's a, it's a little bit dark. Hand me one of the lights. Light. <laughs> just silhouetted. I can't see with all my hoods. Can you see? Yeah. Good morning. Get my mitten back on. It is cold air temps for bare skin um yeah it's what about 7 45 right now it's getting light out now so normally i get up 5 30 but i wanted to stay in longer to actually hit the low negative 11 negative 11 Woohoo! we did it we did it our goal was to gear test further lower as we as i mentioned so Made it to negative 11. I normally get up 5.30, but I wanted to eke it out longer with the temps to see how we did. Stayed toasty warm, but the insides of the tent are totally frosty. And it was definitely cold air when you have exposed skins. So it was definitely stay hunkered in and toasty with what I had. We'll see how it does tonight when we go colder. Okay, heading out to camp tonight. Last I looked, it was currently 20, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's my first time, I only camped out once the other night with negative temps. It was my first time. So, camp uh, night number two with negative temps. Our first night, night before last night, we made it to um, negative 12 in the morning before we came in. This might be getting fogged over a little bit. I don't know. I'm, it's fine. Every breath is breathing out fog. Um, mist, steam, whatever. Anyway, um, so we did succeed in our first mission to sleep below zero my first time. And we slept until, uh, 
Uh, it, it was 12? in the negative 12 the following that morning of the night we slept. I woke up during the night, different times, checking the weather, kind of watching negative seven, kept dropping. So that was a success. Last night we did not sleep out. It was, I got home from work, had a headache. It was too cold to get squared away with things. And I decided um, to forego it last night. Tonight is just as cold, but I was more ready to do so. And we are starting out at negative 20. And I just pull up the temperature at the airport for Stevensville. I don't have anything real accurate here, actually at the house. Sometimes I know we're actually a little colder here because we're at the bottom of the valley, the airport is not, and but I think we're pretty close, so I just go by that. And they are showing a low of negative 22. I don't know if we will end up just kind of holding or with starting out at bedtime already at negative 20 usually we'll get quite a bit colder last night it was negative 20 about the same time frame and we ended up at negative 31 this morning so again I didn't sleep out with that but that's what it ended up being so I'm guessing we're gonna get colder hard to say anyway first night starting out this cold start first night I've been out camping in a tent this cold at all let alone starting the night out so I don't know if I'll make it all night um, it truly is just a wild test and we may bail inside and I will not consider that a failure because I decided it was success just to start out tonight at negative 20 and see what happens so I am toasty warm right now except for my nose which I'm gonna tuck in in a bit and my fingertips just a little bit because I was barehanded fooling with some stuff and I'm working on getting those warmed up now too so fingertips and nose but only because they're out where they're exposed and the rest of me is comfy cozy and that should carry us for a little while before we get cold anyway we'll see maybe we'll make it maybe not but I'll check back in the morning maybe in the middle of the night I don't know um, the fly is frosty inside and out to start with um, so yeah, we'll see you for an update. Okay, so last night we bailed in the house about 3.20, um, actually early this morning. But we did sleep out for, we made it four hours in negative 21 to negative 23 temps for the four hours. Um, and I would have made it longer but moisture management was my biggest deal for my breathing because it was too cold to have any exposed skin at all. So covering my face enough and breathing created moisture inside part of my upper, around my face. So um, then I had to go to the bathroom and I knew getting up and going in to go to the bathroom, come back out, all of that moisture was going to be frozen up and that would not be a good feeling to get back into so um had i not needed to go in i would have stayed out the next two or three hours to finish my sleeping and gone in i was warm aside from that the rest of my my whole from whole, whole self was warm i just had that moisture going on so i need to fine tune that a little bit um Still, we're still in the negatives. We're still, we did not get out of the negatives today for a high, single digit below zero for a high, which it is right now. And tonight's low again in the, supposed to be in the mid teens. And lows in the negatives for the couple nights, a couple more nights. I'm gonna take a break from sleeping out and then we're gonna come up with some mid-teens above zero and that's where I'll sleep out one more time. I want to finish gear testing my setup that I have without the extra sleeping pad. So we'll be in above zero then during the days and I'll be able to go over my system, kind of show you what I used as to as to what I was gear testing. So um, see you in that video. Well, that piece of it and I'll put it all together when I'm done. That one. You going? <laughs>
Alrighty, so just going to do a quick little um, going over what I used for sleeping out in the cold weather. Um, as part of this video, it shows we camped out one night, starting at negative 1, going to negative 12, and then another night we did negative 21 to negative 23. So I'll do a better video of my winter gear another time at camp. This was, again, just a test we did in our yard where I could gear test how cold I could go. Um, so to start with is layers underneath is important. So under you have a thin uh, pad and I'll go over what products I use another time, but a thin pad there for the extra cold. And this took me down when I did the gear testing, I tested down into single digits above zero. My system here went down to anywhere above zero. Below zero, I didn't try without that. I went ahead and added in a regular foam pad, closed cell foam pad underneath for um, the colder temps. But I wanted to see how low I could go without that in stuff that I expect to go out in more of. So single digits um, I did with this. Below zero, I added in the other one. And then all the rest was below zero too. Then I put on a emergency blanket to just the reflective, thin reflective to reflect body heat back to kind of mitigate the cold seeping up through the ground. And then my air pad. And I think it's a 6.5, it's an insulated air pad. Um, then I have, this is a sheet that goes on with my quilt system because I don't use sleeping bags anymore. More of that info in another video. But then on top of my air pad, other times it always still had a cold feel. So I put this really lightweight fleece blanket, just doubled it in half, put it on top in here and it gives a really warm feel. I find that fleece is really good for trapping body heat as well. So that really, helped me a lot and then I have my zero degree quilt layered with my 25 degree quilt over the top and then I put on my bivy bag to add a little bit more warmth but with my current sleep system using the Zen bivy system which is a little different using that sheet with the quilt keeps me from being able to pull it up all the way so i'm gonna have to figure out what i'm gonna do more with that but it worked out for me for now and i was toasty warm even at the negative 20s with my system and that other pad um also with the sheet i don't know if you can see it here but i've got this hood as part of the sheet system to use with the quilts and you can tuck your head underneath there I've got my pillow under here um, you tuck your head under and it gives more warmth there when you don't have the traditional mummy sleeping bag. And part of my system was layering up. So layering up, I wore, um, I wore kind of a mid-weight leggings or long johns with my synthetic puffy pants over the top. And then I wore fleece socks with my synthetic puffy booties for my feet and for my hands sometimes I'm wearing these wool mitts um, sometimes I'll, when I've been first getting in and everything's cold to the touch and I'm trying to get everything settled my fingers get cold and then I put these on to get them warmed up once I'm sleeping a lot of times I take these off and just have my hands tucked in and they're fine and then I have my layers of hoods I put on over my head with, I'm wearing a midway base layer. Then I wear a, a mid layer um, hoodie and light thin vest. And then my synthetic puffy. And those are usually my layers up top. And then I have two of those have hoods and then um, on the really cold, I used a fleece balaclava, and then one of the nights I also tried out Jamie's fleece um, towel, and 
and I think I'll be making one of those. I've been meaning to, just haven't gotten around to it. So that we were able, with, with hers, it sticks out a little bit, it gives a little bit more breathability. Um, so yeah, still got a few little things to fine tune, but I was toasty warm. So I'll throw this in the video with some of my other experiences of actually going through the nights and some of it's bad quality video. Um, some of it's with my phone, some of it's low, very low light. Just is what it is, but it's my experience, I'll share it. And I'll do a better video sometime at camp in the mountains of my total setup. So, alrighty.